So as a general contractor, we're concerned about the entire facility, not just the buildings, but everything, all the outline structures and the infrastructure. Bradbury Stam is the largest contractor in the state of New Mexico. I myself, I push Mega Slab to every client that we get just because it's extremely nice when you've got a product that you can come back, you know, eight, 10, 11 months later, and it's still the same product that it was bragged on at the beginning. It's, they're, they're actually running more equipment over it, bigger equipment. It's got a lot more equipment stored on it. So originally when we started this project and we're talking with everyone about the concrete, they were really hell-bent, if you will, on a perfect uh, substrate for the concrete to get laid onto. And we were watching that and it was kind of a strange deal for us because, you know, normally when we pour concrete, if we've got some imperfections in the subgrade, we just figure we're just gonna waste a little bit more concrete. Uh, this is a completely different product that it starts from the substrate up to the finish. So it's a it's a pretty amazing product all the way through. And then you can beat the hell out of it. Yeah, and then you've got a product that you can drive D10s on and tracked equipment and not do any damage to it whatsoever. You know, out here at this facility at Wagner Cat, with the wind chill, we can get down to, you know, negative zero. Average temperatures in the winter are probably, you know, teens to 20s, and we can get up above 100 in the summertime. We've done all of the no-nos that you're not supposed to do with concrete. We've, we've dumped salt on it to melt the ice, which is very detrimental to concrete, and it hasn't changed it one bit. It still looks the same, it's still performing the same, we haven't seen any spalling. Um, it was a pretty bad winter, you know, when we did this facility. And we've had some pretty heavy loads go on that. You know, Wagner does, there's trucks going in and out of this facility all day long, and it's not just Wagner trucks, it's, you know, private transports. We've driven a lot of equipment across the slabs that was never intended to, the big sheep foot compactors that you see in landfills. Not just across the slab, but actually drove up over the leading edge of the slab. And most time when you run equipment like that over the leading edge of concrete, you're gonna have some big time issues. And we didn't have that. It, they just drove right over it. It didn't chip off, it didn't spall it. We actually, on one end of the facility is where the seven inch slabs are, is on the end of the parts warehouse. The only thing it's ever supposed to see is just some, you know, rubber tired forklifts and things like that going in and out of it. And we were actually on site after the facility was open and they unloaded a, a D10 on the seven inch slab and backed up, did a couple of turns, went over the joint turn in and we we're like, oh, this, this isn't gonna be good. And it did the same thing that the D10 in, in Aurora did and everything else out here. I, I describe it as if you take a quarter and go out to a concrete slab and scrape it back and forth, it leaves those little kind of white marks. That's, that's what it did. We actually extended some areas out that were gonna be asphalt. And because we have past experience where asphalt and heavy trucks starting and stopping on it, you know, that's what creates the ruts and it pushes the asphalt. We actually extended the mega slab out to those points so that when the trucks start and stop on it, it's not gonna roll like asphalt does or regular concrete. The, the overall project is just fantastic. I know that Wagner Cat is just extremely pleased with it. And they should be, it's a, it's a great product.